All right, man, you know what time it is, man. We we super lagged out last time, man. I mean, we ain't lagged out. We just broke the goddamn game, man. We still got Piper right here, man. You already know what time it is, man. <laughs> <coughs> oh, yeah, we got to change this gun. Because this is the shit that broke my shit. And we're going to have to turn that radio off because that shit, you know, and the shit, shit. We're going to have to put it back on Radio Freedom, shit, 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 shit. Oh, shit, we got to change the gun and shit, shit. What the fuck is this? Targets bleed and are poison. We're going to try this, nigga. This don't got the lowest damage. 58. My boy. This is not even the cheaty cheaty. Come here, nigga. Oh, damn. Oh, shit. I got you, Piper. I got you, baby. Let's make moves, Papa. Make moves. Make moves. Bitch ass, nigga. Oh, bitch. Bitch. It was good, nigga. What the? The second intruder. How you know I'm here, nigger? I'm about to break ankles. Oh, he broke my ankle. They don't want the work, nigga. Hey, 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 Next. Who's next? Hey! 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 Dang, who is... Is that the Courser? God damn! And help, I'm on the way to help. Hiya! 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 Motherfucker. What's good? Hiya! 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 Oh, whoa. Good job, Piper. Good job. Shot him in the head. That's how I like it. Who's next? Where? Oh. Hey! <laughs> hey! 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 Oh, he blocked. Hey, 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 that's like trying to level up to level 7 in Dragon Ball Z, nickel. Oh, dying. Piper! Don't die, nigga. Oh, I got you. hi hi The ankle, ankle! Oh! Hiya! 
you ain't want the work, boy. What's the good here? Just my money. Bitch. This is Corsair at. Kill him with my bet. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. All right, man, we gon' this is radio freedom. We're gonna put you right man. here, and then we gon' for the for the far Stay away up. niggers. Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I'm going for the for the far away niggers today. Open my shit, nigga. Open it. Hiya, hiya. For the far away niggas. <laughs> Yo, where is this? Hey, hey, you try to level up? Oh, no. Oh, no, nigga. Whoa, you thought you was cool, nigga? What a fuck it! What a fuck it! What a fuck it! What a fuck it! Die. What a fuck it! What a fuck it! Die. Good. Alright, go ahead, Piper. Get, go ahead. Go ahead, get that head. Get that head. Make sure you're 69, baby. Rat nigga, that nigga ain't killed nobody downstairs. Why they was up? They was just all scared. Motherfucker! I'm about to sneak up on that nigga. Oh shit! Chill, bro. Beep beep. Oh shit! How I get detected immediately? Fuck. Wait, where's he at? Where the fuck? Where the fuck is this nigga? Yeah, don't shoot. Don't shoot. Fuck. You talking to me? Oh, you ain't talking to me. Get over here. He's talking to me. Are you here for the sin? OMG, nigga. I don't do no talking. I just do the walking. <laughs> Motherfucker, you gonna die today, nigga. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Kill that nigga. Kill it. Kill that nigga. Nigga. Ain't no talking. We ain't doing no talk. I said we ain't doing no talking, nigga. Bruh, this is doing. Alright, man. We're gonna have to hit the south. Motherfucker. I did it with this. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> yeah, I'm gonna need that. I'm gonna need your level ups. I'm gonna need all. Oh, I need that uniform. And I need none of that. That's all. Bitch. May nigga. He deserved it, Doc. I know you're not here for me, but I can't get out. Not on my own. I'm going to have to trust you to help me. Who the fuck? Are you slopping? I promise not to hurt you. I guess I don't really have a choice, do I? The guard put the password mm, yeah, in the toolbox. 
over there, under the stairs. Nigga, I already know the password. The I'm a god. Open the door. Wait, 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 wait. I already know that thing, baby. <laughs> Turn elevator on. Yeah, you can just stay in there, girl. You're welcome, bitch. This is Radio Freedom. Busy. Open, boy. I needed open, boy. Who the fuck is this nigga? Broadcasting all day, all hey. across the Commonwealth. <laughs> all quiet, which is how what we the? don't know what to say. Stay safe out there, people. Who are you? My institute designation is K198. But I prefer Jenny. So yes, I'm a synth, if you hadn't already guessed. Synth must I mean, die. Courser. I just didn't think you'd find me so fast. Nigga, is I think you I would have lost him too. Then I was captured by these mercenaries, and all this happened. And they Thanks still alive. I'm gonna look for supplies before heading out. And before you ask, no, I don't need any more help. The Commonwealth is unforgiving. Uh. I need to make it on my own, or I'm dead. Maybe we'll meet again under better circumstances. <laughs> I hope we do. I right, hope you save her, Movo. Well, moving the uh, come on, paper. You already know. Pull up, yo, yo, yo. Where you going? All right, baby, I'm gone. You gonna teleport anyway? Cause you know you be teleporting for the dick. Oh, look at that. Right on time, baby. We are making moves, nigga. We are making a a moves, nigga. It's a me, Mario, nigga. A, a, gotta go get Peach Toad, nigga. A whoa, a saving these hoes, nigga. A whoa, call me Superman. These no, a, damn. I don't know. A, I ain't know she was a hoe. A, she still stop me though, ay, well, ay, ay, then she rolled the pole, ay, damn! But I'm not a rapper. Bussin' that niggas. You're tuned to Radio Freedom. What? Oh, yeah. Nothing to report. Stay safe, people. <laughs> we have the weakest gun ever, bruh. And the corners are champ analyst. Analyst by who, my nigga? Oh shit. Fuck. Analyzing good neighbor. Good neighbor. Yep, good neighbor. I wish I knew where I put Preston's bitch ass. I'm trying to get high. <laughs> Hi what the fuck kind of jump was that, nigga? Hey, yo!
Dr. Emery. The glowing sea, Virgil. What happened? What's up, baby? I found Virgil. He has a way inside the Institute. But I need a code from a Corsair chip. A Corsair chip? You fought a Corsair? Oh my god. Unfortunately, oh my god. I can't help you. I've worked on a lot of synths, but never a Corsair. I don't know what that chip does, let alone how to decode it. But then find out, nigga. Who might. I work with a group that, well, they're the only ones I know that even have a chance at cracking Institute security. The railroad? They're called the railroad. I'm a god. Not them. <laughs> railroad. railroad? They help since escape the Institute. I don't know who they all are. Usually an agent of theirs just shows up with some not them. new memories. One of them gave me a code phrase. Should I say not them? Said it would help me find them if there was ever an emergency. Follow the freedom trail. Hmm. I'll find them. Good luck. I'm sorry what I have is so cryptic. But hopefully you can figure things out as you go. Nigga, where is Preston? That's what I really want to know. I'm trying to do this good night. I'm whoa, whoa. What is this undiscovered house? What? What? Y'all niggas lying? Fuck it. Where is my man's door? Oh, what's that, Nick? All quiet here. Stay tuned for Minutemen alerts. Hmm. 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 I'm about to just cheat and make her love me. <laughs> hey, uh. Hey, hey. Can't do that in real life, my mans. Preston! Strong. Who the fuck? That's a uh, synth. I don't know who the fuck this nigga is. I know this nigga, I know this nigga, I know this nigga, I know this nigga. I know this nigga, I know this nigga. I know this nigga, I know that nigga. I don't know this bitch. I know that nigga. I know that bitch. I don't know this. Or this. Piper loved that. How you doing, baby? What's Always good? On good behavior, aren't you? You already know, baby. I try to be. Seems like you're doing better than trying. I appreciate it. Too few folks can be bothered. Of course, in my experience, if you want to do real good, playing nice only gets you so far. I mean, look at Diamond City. A place I've been trying to warn of real danger. But every issue I publish, all I hear is... Oh, Piper, why don't you ever publish anything happy? <clears throat> Piper, why can't you write something nice for a change? It's no, I love you, Piper. Hang up my hat some days. Nah, don't ever do that, baby. I love you. Sounds like it must be exhausting. <laughs> no kidding. But people, they deserve to know the truth. Facts. Sure, it's scary knowing what's really out there. Facts. The night doesn't go by. I'm not afraid some institute drone will decide today's the day to pay old Piper and family a visit. But it's worth it because I know the truth. Piper That's is what beautiful. Us. Couldn't agree more, baby. Absolutely. Couldn't agree more. How can you protect you and yours if you don't know what you're facing? Facts. 
Most folks, though, they'd prefer a comforting lie. Not me. Not me either. I need all the facts, nigga. My sister and I, we grew up way out in the Commonwealth. Tiny little settlement. Our dad, he was part of the local militia. <laughs> Keeping the raiders off our backs and the Mirelurks out of our latrines, as he'd describe it. <laughs> One day... Damn. Our dad turns up dead. His captain, asshole named Mayburn, claims raiders must have gotten him on watch. Well, oh, I hell no. I start making inquiries. Turns out, the captain, he'd sold out. Thought he wasn't getting paid enough to babysit the town. He was going to leave the gates open one night. Let a group of raiders sack the place and take a cut of the profits. My dad found out and was going to turn Mayburn in, but Mayburn got to him first. And I wasn't about to let that bastard get away with murder. I tried talking to the mayor, but he wouldn't listen. So, I papered the entire town in posters. Wanted for gross dereliction of duty, Captain Mayburn. The mayor sure wanted to talk after that. <laughs> the town threw Mayburn out on his ass and were dug in when a very surprised group of raiders finally showed. Piper, you saved those people. No. You did, baby. Those people saved themselves because they knew the truth. But you but gave hey, them the I, truth, baby. I'm sorry if I've been rambling. I just get fired up sometimes. It's cool, it's girl. I'm nice here to, to listen to for you, baby. Who actually seems to get it, you know? You already know, baby. Should we head out? Let's make moves, baby. Next. Next. This is Radio Freedom, broadcasting all day, all across the Commonwealth. Nothing to report. Stay safe, people. You sure manage to find your fair share of trouble, don't you? You already know, baby. I suppose so. Hey, I'm not one to judge. Honestly, it's just nice to not be doing it alone for a change. <laughs> In my line of work, things tend to get pretty hairy. I've been shot at, poisoned, nearly Damn. executed. I need to wife you, baby. Recently, they called the lockup in Diamond City the Piper Suite. Anything Damn. for a story, I suppose. Someone poisoned you? Facts. I barely had the paper going before I got poisoned. First time, Damn. I just published an article about this cartel of caravans that had been driving up food prices in the city. Article went over well, even got a boycott of their goods started in town, so I figured I'd pop over to the dugout inn for a victory drink. Damn. I'd taken a swig by the time I realized something was wrong. The Dean, he wasn't at the bar. The beer tasted off, even more so than usual. And I started feeling real woozy. I don't know what he slipped me, but I knew I had to get it out. I'm looking around for something, and there it is, the still, and I just start chugging moonshine. Honestly, I'm still not totally convinced it was better than just dying from the poison, but... It <laughs> is moonshine is strong, baby. And while I was passed out on the floor, security managed to grab the bartender. He eventually ratted out his bosses, and they all got to share some time in the pen. Damn, Piper, you is my baby. You've led. I don't even so want to leave you, girl. Sure have. But honestly, now that I'm out here with you, I feel like I'm just getting started. Mm. Getting in trouble is what folks like us do. I mean, you and I are out here putting ourselves at risk so people in the Commonwealth can have a chance at a better life. Not for praise or reward or glory, but because it's right. Mm. I, I just wanted to let you know I'm real happy to be along for the ride. You're tuned to Radio Freedom, Voice of the Minute. I wouldn't want it any other way. All quiet. I like having you close. Oh, uh, thanks, Blue. That's that's awfully sweet and unexpected of you. So, you want to get out of here? Damn, girl. You is my wife. My new wife. 
to find my son. Let's find out what happens next, my niggas. My niggas. Whoa. I, ch I went to the wrong GD. My niggas. What is next, my niggas? I broke the game again. Oh, I was about to say. There's nothing. So, you're not an idiot. No, nah, what's good? Uh, thanks. You too. No, I, I didn't mean like... I could just use some help. This isn't good. the sort of thing I'd normally bother anyone else with, but you just seem really good with people, and I've got this issue. What's with good? my sister, Nat. Oh, uh, I remember this. Once enough already? <laughs> Bruh, I wouldn't say that. Nah, I would say that to my wife, but she has to be my wife first. Alright, what's the issue? I'm just terrified she's gonna start taking up like her big sis. I mean, think about the life we lead. No offense intended to, but personal safety doesn't exactly seem like either of our strong suits. Facts. Her ending up like her big I'm just shitting on niggas. And running from all the people she pisses off. It's part of the reason I'm on the road so much. Part of the reason I'm here with you. I keep thinking maybe if I make myself scarce, if I'm not around her enough, she'll cool off. She'll just go back to being sweet, innocent Nat, paper girl, and all around upstanding citizen. What do I do, Blue? You just love her. Family's precious. The last thing you want to do is drive them away. Because you might lose them forever. You're right. Facts. I can't risk that. Thanks, Blue. Who'd expect wandering off with a stranger to turn out this well? You really don't make me like I'm a god. Either. You're a hell of a friend, you know that? A friend? Just friends, huh? Uh, well, yeah. I guess. I, I, th I thought so. Unless, you know... Something changes. God, did it get hot in here? Mm -hmm. hey, thanks again for listening. It's a real weight off my chest to be able to talk it out with someone. So, you wanna hit the road? So that what you supposed to do in real life, bro? You flirt one time a day. I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna try that, young niggas. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let y'all know how it works in real life. Broadcasting all day, all across the Commonwealth. Nothing to report. Stay safe out there, everyone. Blue, you got a minute? Of course, girl. Sure thing. Just what you said about Nat. I've been going over it again and again in my head, and what you said was right. Family's too precious. What kind of life is she going to have if I never go near her again? Facts. Just, sometimes it feels like the only things I've got in life are Nat and the paper. Having someone I can count on, someone like you, it's meant a lot to me. Not a lot of people want to hang around with the nosy reporter. What? Girl, you, yeah, you my kind yeah, of, oh yeah. My kind of nosy. Oh yeah. You're the exception. I haven't exactly made a lot of friends in this career. I just wanted to write the things I thought were wrong. And when Nat and I first got to Diamond City, there was a lot of wrong. Crooked guards, lousy infrastructure. <laughs> there was a hole in the exterior wall that was patched over with a bookcase. One bookcase. <laughs> That's it. I started the paper more as an act of desperation than anything else. Turned out I wasn't the only one who wanted things to change. After the first couple of editions, I am. He was the movement center. Everyone agreed with what I said, but everyone was listening. Facts. Stay woke. <laughs> one bookcase. Seriously? One bookcase? Not even some tape? No. But now, now you can't even tell where the hole was. Nothing to report. Brick, real mortar, the works. All because of the paper. 
Good job, baby. I just want to tell you, good job, baby. You, you doing work. Things changed. People didn't want to talk the way they used to. It seemed that overnight I'd gone from being Piper, friend and confidant, to Piper, the nosy snoop. A lot of folks, they haven't treated me the same since. I started to feel like the only person I could count on was my little sis. Family is forever. You can count on me, Piper. I know I can. You're not afraid of me like everyone else. I was sure that the paper would be the best thing I ever did in my life, but being here with you now, now I don't know. I've needed someone like you in my life for a long time, Blue. I just never expected I'd actually get them. So thank you for being the friend I can count on. It sounds to me like you're interested in becoming more than just friends. Oh, I, I mean, <laughs> well, I'd be lying if I said I never thought about you that way. Not that I'm always thinking that way. It's just blue. I'm loud and pushy and constantly getting in over my head. Why so? would someone like you ever want someone like me? Is it so hard to believe that someone could fall for you? Well, no. This no, nigga smooth as fuck. I exactly feel like you've seen me at my best thus far, Blue. I mean, how many That's good. established in a hail of gunfire? You only supposed to see niggas at the worst. You really want to end up with someone like me? You don't need to be flawless, Piper. You're perfect for me. Mm. Perfect, huh? <laughs> that's uh that's a new one. Well, hmm. Well, I think you're perfect too. <laughs> Goodness, Blue, I I don't know what to say. You're everything I could ever ask for. Come on. Let's not keep the world waiting. It's 5 a.m. This is Radio Freedom, voice of the Minutemen. Nothing to report. Stay safe out there, everyone. My wife. I don't even want to leave her no more, bro. <laughs> After all that talking, bruh. Oh my god. Maybe that's how it is in real life, too. What the? Y'all niggas murdered this nigga. You look just like Sammy, too. Nigga, that wasn't. Oh, damn. Yup, it wasn't. In this town? All quiet. Got another thing. Stay tuned. Smell that? That's freedom. Nigga, that's a synth. Damn. What can I do with a piper? Let's, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go visit her sister, nigga. And then leave her. <laughs> I'm sorry, but yeah, that's what we gotta do, baby. So it's now, I'll come back for you before I find my son. Or maybe after. Or maybe, wow, I find my son. You're tuned to Radio Freedom. Huh? I ain't the paper girl. Across the across the common common so far. Stay safe tried out there. Me. No. What'd you do? What'd I do? I knocked him on his ass. Now I've got detention. <laughs> oh, Natalie. Never change. And you're super grounded. Diamond City surplus Man. is where you can sell all those scraps you've scavenged. <laughs> and you're... Nigga. Sorry. Shut up before I kill your ugly ass. You old... You got a synth. I was about to say, I thought she was a synth. Hey. What you got for me? Piper. 
You know, you look like you could really use this. My this wife gave me gum? Bruh, that just blew my mind. Is everything all right between us, Piper? I'm with the person I love. Helping those in need. I couldn't imagine a better life. Your thoughts? Taking down that courser went about as well as could be expected. Now we just have to find someone to decode that chip. This is Radio Freedom, broadcasting all day, all across the Commonwealth. That was all I had. All right. Stay safe out there, everyone. You're tuned to Radio Freedom, Voice of the Minutemen. Nothing to report at the moment. Stay tuned for updates. <laughs> <sighs> when are y'all gonna kill some coarser this and this what the what is down here? University point, that settlement on the coast wiped out by sense. Shut up. That's a whole house. Piper, I'm sorry. Uh, but me and this nigga got some business to do, my nigga. If he's not here, then I'll leave you for Preston Garvey. Be careful when you head over to the Nakano residence. That whole area is pretty isolated. Nigga, this nigga coming with me. Back in Diamond City. No. Nick, time to hit the road? How'd you know? Let's head out. Well, all right. So, any stories you two come across out there? I get the exclusive, right? Of Fine, course, bro, baby. Now, who else to tell? Uh, you gotta go to Diamond City, baby. Damn, you can't, bro. This is sad. She's going. This is sad. This is so sad. I'm sad. I can't leave her in Diamond City, bro, with her sister, nigga. Yo. Hey, uh, uh. But that's the you gonna have to do something about that, nigga. This that's fucked up. But yeah, you gonna have to. Nope, you gonna go to the castle, baby. Cause you my queen, girl. You my queen, baby. I love you. Be safe. Okay, my nigga. It's time for the investigations. Nope. Only two missions. Are you ready, my nigga? Hey, go ahead. Looks like you got something to say. Are things okay between you and me? I've been thinking about that myself. I suppose we're okay. I feel like we could be doing more for folks out here, but... Otherwise, we're all right. Cool, cool, cool. Your thoughts? Who do you think actually won the war? Nobody, I guess. Nothing to report. That you. Was all I had Shoot yourself. This nigga is. We gonna have to line your ugly ass up, nigga. This nigga. This, this nigga. This nigga Valentine is scary with them yellow eyes, boy. Use a hand. So you're not talking? Hey. I'll uh, see what I can do. Hey, Valentine. Hey, let me ask you something. What? Sure, ask away. It's just, uh, with everything that's happened with you and your, your family, it's a whole hell of a lot to process. Uh, Wanted to make sure you're holding up all right. Yeah, I'm all right. Huh. You're a tougher nut than I thought. Tougher than I was. Took me a long damn time to get a feel for this place. Thank goodness I found Diamond City. It's got its flaws, sure, but it beats the hell out of anywhere else in the Commonwealth. 
course, when I took up there back when, people were just as scared of the Institute as they are now. Maybe more. The massacre of the CPG was still pretty fresh in people's minds at that point. And folks were still losing sleep over the broken mask. Plenty of people assumed I was just a saboteur, moving in to melt down the reactor or poison the drinking water. Damn. At the time, they couldn't exactly turn me away. Got all these questions. Mask. This was long before I'd moved to town, but apparently some gentleman type shows up in Diamond City, heads down to Power Noodles. Guess he didn't like the food because he pulled his pistol and opened fire on the. Damn. When security finally put enough holes he in is the drop, a savage. He was full of servos and sprockets, just like yours truly. Seems he malfunctioned, went berserk. It was the first time people realized that synths that stopped looking like me started looking like them. Considering what these folks went through, I felt real lucky they let me in the front gate at all. Bro. Massacre of the CPG? What's that? The Commonwealth Provisional Government. Years back, a group of settlements tried Government. to get together and form Fuck them niggas. Every settlement with even a hint of clout sent representatives. Clout? That's what I need. Only the Institute sent a representative of their own. A synth. The man the killed every the rep at the talks. Damn! The provisional government was over before it even got off the ground. I took up in town not long after. I was damn lucky they didn't just tell me to scram right then and there. Why'd they let you in? Because I'd rescued the mayor's daughter. Gal of about 15. Pride and joy of the mayor back then. Man by the name of Henry Roberts. The young Miss Roberts decided she'd run off with some caravan hand she'd uh, <clears throat> known for an evening. Damn. The guy was part of a that man of gave her the pipe, the pipe pipes. I didn't even know who I was rescuing. Just stumbled on a crying girl in four tufts. I took her home and the mayor dubbed me a hero. Offered me a place in town. Lots of folks protested said I was a spy, but he wouldn't have it. This is the bluff. Damn, that's all. Bruh, but that's the knows how to put God in this junk. Cause they had a whole sin murder niggas cause his noodles was nasty. Then this nigga pulls up with the <laughs> with the mayor's daughter, bruh, like damn. I can't trust synths, but I can trust you, face ass. Don't let me bother you. Was it hard no, to that's true, true, true. Well, they sure didn't make it easy. I started off doing the jobs no one else wanted. I got more banged up being Diamond City's handyman than I ever did living out in the ruins. But I guess folks never forgot I rescued the mayor's daughter, so they started coming to me when people went missing. True. Wife runs off with a new paramour and takes the rent money with her. Talk to the synth. <laughs> Bro. Father decides moving him and the kids to good neighbor and the dead of nights not the worst damn idea since the bomb. Go get Nick. Damn. The jobs got so bad. So only what? Only women are hoes. The handyman stuff anymore. Men no actually so care about their kids. I they just I can't fuck with the woman. Nick the <laughs> but it was Nick the detective folks came to see. True. Then, true. Things. Uh, well, this nigga does talk a lot though. It took me a long time. I only can hear the woman. I only can hear a woman talk this much. <laughs> My home is the wrong. Alright, let's get moving, dude. But we gotta open you up some more, my nigga. Oh robot uh nigga. Oh you a robot uh nigga. You a robot, that nigga. Did I break the game? Oh. I think we. You said what? Heads up. There's some. You got time to talk now? My fault, bro. Is something the matter? You sound upset. What? Oh no, no. We've just been traveling a while now, and I figured there hasn't exactly been equitable nigga, distribution. We stayed of in this room for like five minutes. Got a glimpse into your dirty laundry, but you still what? don't really know a whole heck of a lot about me. My dirty laundry. Figure that offer to balance the board. So, anything you want to know? Uh, the 
Institute. What do you remember about the Institute? It's all pretty hazy from back then, but now and then I get glimpses. Life inside the Institute, they keep you isolated. Should I bring this nigga to the ISO to Institute? Uh, someone was always watching. Dang, what if I bring this nigga to the Institute? Side, and that's it. They've cut you loose. Welcome mm. to the brave new world. I gotta talk to all my companions first to see what's good. So, so who are you, Nick? That's a question I've been trying to figure out myself for a long damn time. I know I'm a synth, authentic institute handiwork, but I'm still mechanical, not bioengineered like the fancy mm. release these days. I get tune-ups now instead of checkups. Mm. Personality—they're all lifted from some cop who volunteered for an experiment. Should I bring this nigga? To, yeah, I should bring this nigga to the institute. And I think I should. <coughs> I still got to get Preston Garvey so I can do the Silver Shroud shit too. Or cop instead of a math genius or a bioengineer. Hey, maybe that's why the institute tossed me in the garbage instead of turning me into one of their people snatchers. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm. Wait, whoa. The original Nick was from my time. Sure was. Which meant when I finally ended up out here, it was quite the rude awakening. I remember waking so up one day in a both garage, a body in tatters and a head full of memories. We both woke up to 200 years. <laughs> years. Suffice to say, it was a confusing couple of weeks. Folks didn't really know much about synths back then, so when I finally ran into people, they mostly treated me with caution rather than hostility. But the kids. <laughs> They weren't afraid. Kids never I think afraid, his nigga. Name was Jim, the first person to actually speak to me after I got the boot from the institute. My first human contact in this world. My Threw first contact power. was my robot. Once they'd seen I wasn't going to hurt anyone, the other folks in the neighborhood came out. Damn. To a mechanical man. It eventually turned into a pretty swell soiree. A local mechanic even gave me a once-over free of charge. Those people, they treated me like a human being. I've been trying to return the favor ever since. Mm. It's a surprisingly rare trait out here sometimes. It's something I've noticed you got a fondness for. Part of the reason I've stuck around this long. If you're good to people, they'll be good back. That's something I've always believed. Couldn't agree more. Well, I expect you're about as bored as can be I listening to me rattle my skeletons. Facts. Probably head out. At least you know, old man. Like Stay safe out there, people. Chill. I wonder what the story is between Mr. Nakano and Nick. Hmm. We gonna find out, my nigga. Hey. You, uh, got a sec? What's good, my nigga? Of course, Nick. What's up? I wouldn't normally bother you with this sort of thing, but, uh, well, I know I can trust you at this point. For as long as I can remember, I've been getting these, uh, flashes. Memories of places I've never been. Things I've never seen. Memories of Nick's. They're not bad. They're just, um, they're just this inescapable reminder. That I'm not the person I think I am. That I'm not a person at all. I'm just a machine. Pretending to be human. You think. You feel. You're more than pretending, Nick. Mm -hmm. Nice of you to say, but your kind don't usually have to deal with someone else's whole life trapped inside their skulls. Don't get me wrong. I know I'm in Nick's debt. These memories, they've, they've kept me alive. Nick was a hell of a cop. A guy with good instincts and a good heart. I always counted myself lucky they didn't load me up with some ex-con. Or whatever type might volunteer to let folks tinker with their gray matter. But it's thanks to Nick that I pass for human. Why I get to live cushy in Diamond City and every other synth is shot on sight. Mm. I know I got it good, but... My entire life, I owed a Nick. 
Everything that makes me who I am. My judgment, my speech, hell, even my name. They're his. And I can't do a damn thing about it, because without them, without them, I'm nothing. A shell. All you don't I gotta be sad, bro. Life where I have something I can call my own. So do you wanna die? Yeah, quit pitying yourself, nigga. I should say that. I'ma say that. Quit pitying yourself. This is the life you've got. But you get to decide what to do with it. Facts. You got a good point. You know, I, I'm just going to need some time to think on this. I appreciate you hearing me out. You're, you're a real good friend. Thanks. No, I need to unlock your shit, nigga, before we do this mission. Oh, shit. Mr. You know, there like is this sword. chunk of Nick Trying Valentine of history of I've been hoping to put world. a bow on for a while now. <laughs> I could anyone? use a hand if you're willing to take a crack at it. Sure thing. What's the case? Well, this one's straight out of the archives. Once upon a time in the land of Boston, there lived a king of organized crime. Eddie Winter. He was a bad man. Did a lot of bad things, hurt a lot of innocent people, but he knew the end was coming, so he sealed himself inside a personal shelter, located underneath the sub shop he used as a headquarters. Eddie Winter was from my time. This is Real scumbag. The story gets even more twisted. The All arrogant white. bastard wanted to cheat death, live forever. So he could come out of that shelter someday into this brave new world. Sound familiar? Only Eddie didn't want to be a frozen banana. No cryo sleep for him, no. He invested his money in some sick, crazy radiation experiment. Hmm. Jeez, you've really done your homework on this guy. I have. I uncovered a doozy. Eddie Winter went and turned himself into a ghoul. 200 years before it was fashionable. Hell, he was probably the first one. And I'm convinced that he's still locked inside that shelter. Safe and sound. Ready to come out and begin his evil reign all over again. I'm gonna find him and kill him. So that never happens. You in? This I don't get it, Nick. Why kill Eddie day, Winter, even if he is still alive? This sounds like some kind of vendetta. No, I've got memories of a, of a girl. My girl. They're not really my memories, I know that. They're Nick's. But the girl, she was real. She was beautiful and innocent. And winter Damn. killed her. I got you, bro. For your wife. Price. I just made so, Piper my wife. Knowing that. You in? Yeah. Let's get the bad guy. You're a good man. You now, already know. I know where Winter's vault is, but the door is sealed with a complex numerical code. Lucky for us, Winter's arrogance knew no bounds. Back in the day, he recorded ten holotapes, incriminating different criminal associates. On each one, he hit a single number. We have to get ten. All of those holotapes. We get all the numbers. Are you serious? We get all the numbers, we get the code. And then we get winter. I've this been putting is... together a file on this one for a while now. There's a pair of holotapes in here worth Let listening to. Here uh, including Voice one of winter. I managed to snatch from the Cambridge Police Evidence Lockup before getting swarmed by ferals. My gut tells me the Boston Police Evidence Terminals are the key to cracking this one. Probably worth paying a visit to any of the departments you might have stumbled across. Hmm. Damn.
Whoa, I was about to blow that nigga a kiss like he was my wife. <laughs> I'm sorry, Piper. I almost cheated. Pretty sure Preston knew about this treasure. Or am I tripping? Nah, I think it was. Mm, am I tripping? Yeah, I think it was a treasure at my workshop or something. Hey man, I play a lot of games, man. I can't remember. Only follow me. This is the drone that you put in the water. Damn, the how you know? Well, you know where we about to start. Ha <laughs> ha! 